Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk to you about leadership and the fact that you are already a leader. You probably just don't know it yet. Uh, leadership's an idea that I've been working pretty hard to embrace in my life um, because I think it's really great and really powerful and it allows me to do things that I wouldn't normally do when I look at myself as a leader. Um, it allows me to look at things that I want and to go for them not simply because I want them but because I can be a leader in that area. So to tell you what I mean, first I want to share with you what being a leader even means to me. Uh, what being a leader means to me is a leader is someone that was willing to bring something into a space. And I don't just mean like bring physical shit with, with you. What I mean is a leader is someone that's willing to bring an idea with them, a presence with them. Uh, if you're a leader in like a civil rights movement, you bring that ideology with you. You are that energy. You bring it with you. You speak to it. You act in accordance with it. You simply are that, and that makes you a leader. And now the interesting thing about this that I've learned recently is that you're already a leader. You just may not be aware of the leadership that you're providing for the world. Think about it. If you're, you could be a leader in the laziness movement. You could be a leader in the I really don't want to be happy and successful because I'm scared to shit movement. That's you providing leadership. You just don't know it yet. The question is, how are you going to take your leadership and be conscientious about it? What are you going to choose to be a leader in? For me, there's a couple things I want to be a leader in. I want to be a leader for happiness. I want to be a leader for self-love. I want to be a leader for freedom. I want to be a leader for the idea that transformational people can live really amazing lives, that we can have a lot of money and do cool shit and give back to the community. Those are the things that I want to lead. And the fact that I know that me stepping into that, my presence, when I'm really owning that, gives the people around me the permission to own that as well, that makes me a leader. And so you, whatever your presence is, whatever you bring with you wherever you are, that's what you're giving people permission to think and feel and act in accordance with. So the question is, what kind of leader are you going to be? Are you going to be the sit on your ass and feel sorry for yourself leader? Or are you going to be the type of leader that takes a look at what you want, that takes a look at what the community around you needs, and take a stand for what you want and what you feel like everyone needs, and be at the forefront of that? Be the person, be the person willing to take the first step into that and give it to the rest of the world. I personally encourage you to take a look at what you want, what you need, what the world around you wants and need, and take a stand for that. Because that's conscientious leadership. You're already a leader. You just need to know how to wield your power. Thanks. I'm Chris Orozco. I'm getting off my soapbox. I love you all. Bye.